For two weeks, 34-year-old Alejandro Galicia was in the ICU fighting for his life. The doctors mentioned, you know, you're 50-50. Um, I was in the prone position laying on my stomach uh, in hopes that I would, you know, get some oxygen in. Two months ago, he was finally vaccinated. I think after six hours of uh, vaccination, I, it was when I started feeling a little weak, um, body aches. Um, I had a slight fever. Did it take you back to what you went through with COVID? It did. Um, the body aches were, were a little rough. And one of the first symptom, symptoms that I um, developed when, when I had COVID was body aches. I couldn't, I couldn't get up. I couldn't move. That memory is key, and what doctors believe could be the reason why some people who've had COVID have robust side effects to the first dose of the vaccine. Initial exposure sort of primes the immune system, and then you have a more vigorous uh, response after, you know, re-exposure. Dr. Dean Winslow is a Stanford professor and advisor to the CDC. He says headaches, body aches, and a slight fever are normal side effects to the vaccine that people who've had COVID could experience sooner. What is it that the vaccine has that the body detects or remembers as COVID? Presumably when people uh, uh, have natural infection with uh, SARS-CoV-2, uh, the, you know, which is, of course, the virus which causes COVID-19, uh, you get a broad, uh, uh, probably antibody response, as well as uh, what's referred to as a cellular immune response. So in other words, our T cells and monocytes and macrophages are probably all activated as well. At UCSF, Dr. Prather is set to begin a study of 600 people after they've been fully vaccinated. Part of this study will determine if prior infection leads to a stronger immune response. At present, you know, people who have not been exposed or infected previously are showing efficacy of like, you know, 90 in the 90 percentile, right? 95, 93 uh, percent protection. And so, you know, whether um, prior exposure infection actually gets you that rest of the way, like that three or four percent is unknown. For Alejandro, that San Francisco resident in our story, his side effects were gone after 36 hours. Now, doctors say that normal side effects are expected to dissipate after two to three days. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News. Mm -hmm.